Two WSU football players are in Whitman County Jail for burglary. And an argument over a cigarette turns into a knife fight. Tonight, those stories and more as complete coverage of your local news starts right now. Two WSU football players that were arrested for theft have been suspended indefinitely from the team. Tyree Toomer and Leandra Daniels were arrested June 9th for stealing bicycles from Regents Residence Hall. They were both booked in the Whitman County Jail, but have now been released. The Whitman County Prosecutor's Office says that both Toomer and Daniels are facing serious burglary charges, including second-degree burglary, second-degree theft, and residential burglary. Summer has hit the inland northwest, and it's no different here in Pullman. Warm temperatures mean it's perfect weather for summer barbecues and good music. The Summer Music and Barbecue Series is a joint effort between WSU Student Involvement and WSU Dining Services, which takes place every two weeks on Tuesdays. Student Entertainment Board Director Renee Dahlquist says the program is a unique way for people to have great food and enjoy the summer experience. It's nice out, people get a chance to just hang outside, grab some lunch, something a little different than what they're used to from the Cub because it's usually always just Carlitas, Panda Express, or um, Villa Pizza, so just kind of something different, more summery feel to it to get people to hang out outside and listen to some music. WSU grad student Rosie Ramondo says the summer weather serves as a nice backdrop for the barbecue and concert on campus. I think it's a great way to enjoy the campus. Uh, like Lisa said, it's a beautiful day and the Cub is a beautiful setting for this, so um, it's just a great way to, to get away from your office or from class or whatever it is you're doing. And, come out and take a quick break while you can in the good weather. SCB Director Dahlquist says great weather, music, and food make the summer music and barbecue series an event no one should miss. Just definitely come out. It's nice out, a little breezy usually, but really warm and the entertainment's good, the food's good, so why wouldn't people come out to see it? The WSU Summer Barbecue and Concert Series is a great way for both Pullman residents and WSU students to come out, enjoy great weather, and help take a bite out of some of that Pullman heat. For Cable Light News, I'm Michael Pitt. Coming up, can Cougar baseball pull out a late season charge for the Pac-10 title? And will NFL fans be treated for more regular season football action? Find out more when Cable 8 News returns after the break. The WSU men's baseball team is looking for a strong finish with only four games left in the regular season. The Cougars will need to win two more Pac-10 games against the University of Washington to secure second place in the conference standings. WSU has an outside chance of tying for first place, but the Cougars will need to win the rest of their conference games, while Pac-10 leader Arizona State would need to lose its last three. Two more wins would guarantee the Cougars a 30-win season and an almost certain spot in the upcoming NCAA tournament. WSU baseball received a special honor yesterday as senior outfielder Jared Prince was named Pac-10 Player of the Week. Prince had a 478 batting average with a home run and 10 RBIs over the last six games and helped lead the Cougars to a 4-2 record over that stretch. This is Prince's first Pac-10 Player of the Week award and the second for WSU this season as freshman Derek Jones won the award in March. The Seattle Mariners had a chance last night to take a win from the Los Angeles Angels, but would they be able to seal the deal? The Mariners were up 4-1 after four innings, but the Angels fought back in the top of the fifth, scoring five runs and taking a 6-4 lead. The M's tried to rally back but fell short as the Angels win 10-6. This marks the Mariners' 11th loss out of the last 14 games. Plans for adding more regular season NFL games are being put on hold this week at the annual NFL Spring Meeting. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell says he doesn't anticipate a vote soon to lengthen the NFL regular season to either 17 or 18 games. Goodell says the decision won't be made until league officials speak with players in the next few months. Commissioner says a new schedule plan will eliminate two preseason games for each team and will add a game or two to the existing 16-game regular season. Well, that's it for sports. Stay tuned. Cable 8 News returns right after the break. The Whitman County Commissioner Greg Parch says the county could have an additional $1.9 million in the bank from unpaid tickets and fines. Parch says the almost $2 million could have been collected had the district court been able to collect penalties over the last decade. Parch says the unpaid dues would really help the county get out of the $200, $250,000 deficit it now faces. The commissioner also says he hopes deals can be reached between counties and states, so counties won't have to carry outstanding debts on their balance sheets. Faculty, staff, students, and Pullman residents were all in attendance for this morning's announcement of WSU's budget plan for the next two years. University President Elson S. Floyd, as well as Provost and Executive Vice President Warwick M. Bailey, discussed the budget, which will be put into effect on July 1st. The two also answered questions from concerned members of the WSU community. 
Washington State University will cut nearly 360 vacant and currently filled jobs across the university and will employ several cost-saving measures, including three academic programs being cut, for a savings of nearly $54 million over the next two years. The three programs which will be cut include the Department of Theater and Dance, the German major, and the Department of Community and Rural Sociology. President Floyd says the decisions on the budget were very difficult, but the severity of the budget cuts offered no real alternatives. For KB8 News, I'm Michael Pitt. Well, Mike, we've got a lot of people heading out of town this weekend. What kind of weather should we expect? Well, it should be pretty nice today, though. We should have some nice weather to finish off tonight if you have any outdoor activities. Tomorrow, there might be some thunderstorms, but it should get nicer by the end of the week. Stay tuned. Your Cable 8 weather forecast is coming up right after this. Welcome back for your Cable 8 weather. We had some really nice weather out here today. Oop, excuse me. We had a nice, uh, today's high was 76 with some light winds. So if you have any, like I said before, if you have any nice uh, activities for later on tonight, this weather should be staying put pretty much for the rest of the day. So get out there and do that. Tonight, as usual, cool temperatures will cool down a bit, around 53 degrees. Well, slightly uh, slower winds, but again, not much. So moving on to next, uh, tomorrow, as I said, we're, the big pro we're expecting all, uh, some isolated thunderstorms here again. T temperatures shouldn't change much. Uh, it's a high of 74, low of 51. But again, pay, uh, be careful out there. as You never know when those th storms will strike. Moving on, checking our weather here on the east side of the state. Again, nice normal weather for the time of year. We've got the weather in Wenatchee and Spokane in the low to mid 80s. Pullman, of course, 76. Moving over to the other side of the west side of the state, uh, we've got 70 in Seattle, 71 in Olympia, 76 and 59. And we've, I've not, we've been noticing all across the state that mainly mostly cloudy or partly cloudy skies have been, have been the weather pattern for today. Moving ahead, five day forecast. Temperatures will stay put at around the mid to low 70s with the uh, Thursday's high of 76, cooling down a little bit throughout the week, getting, spiking up on Sunday, but cooling down Monday 72. So again, some partly cloudy skies, but it should be nice if you have any activities you want to work on or get outside to do. That's it for weather. Back to you guys at the desk. It's summertime at Pullman, and former high schoolers are touring the WSU campus. It can only be one time of year. The Alive Orientation Program is in full swing at Washington State. It's a way for this fall's incoming freshman to get prepared for the change to college life. Orientation coordinator Amanda Garcia says parents need to get ready for the college transition just as much as their children. The parents are a huge component of our program. We really want them to leave informed as well as their students. So parents who do come, they have their own workshops that they go through. We do separate parents and students at different parts in the program. And that's just so that way students can start learning some independence and being responsible for you know their own questions and things of that sort. The three-day program includes workshops and academic planning sessions for both students and parents as well as other presentations. One such presentation is Transitions. It's a set of skits put on by the Alive Orientation counselors, which help demonstrate and solve some of the personal, social, and emotional problems a first-year student faces. The last orientation day ends with a big send-off by the Alive staff. This includes a slideshow, the singing of the fight song, and even a dance competition to close the orientation. Orientation counselor Caitlin Gordon would like both students and parents to leave the Alive program feeling proud of their college decision. Well, first of all, I would really like the students and parents to leave feeling like they had a worthwhile experience, that they learned a lot, that it sticks in their mind, and that they had fun as well. But especially that they leave feeling comfortable and that they're super excited to come to Washington State, best school ever, and that they, they just feel that much more comfortable and that much more excited to start their college career here. The freshman orientation sessions are a great way for incoming freshmen to feel a sense of Cougar pride and feel alive with that sense of Cougar pride. From the Cub Auditorium on the WSU campus, I'm Michael Pitt for Cable 8 News. That's all the news we have for you tonight. Tune in every weeknight at 4 o'clock. Have a good night.